Hello everyone, um, this is Jasmine Gill, Associate Professor in uh, Computer Science and Engineering and uh, uh, Member uh, Department of Research and Innovation in Remit University. Uh, so today we are uh, going to have an introductory lecture to computer graphics. Well, the very first thing that comes into your mind uh, when you uh, listen to the word graphics is something very interesting. So this lecture is also going to be very interesting because uh, computer graphics has enormous applications these days. It plays a very important role and uh, how it plays an important role is uh, quite in, uh, related to how humans uh, process informations in their brain. So these are the contents that would be covered in this uh, lecture. So computer graphics, what role it does play uh, in our real world, then application uh, where uh, it has enormous applications, the areas where it can be uh, applied. Then classification of computer graphics that is um, based on uh, the use or uh, based on the uh, user involvement. After that components of uh, computer graphics would be introduced. Then the sources from where uh, this information has been gathered. So. After seeing this uh, image, what is the very first thing, if I ask uh, you, comes into your mind? Uh, perhaps everybody would be having uh, different concepts in their mind. It can be global warming, it can be um, afforestation, it can be saving the planet Earth, or it can be uh, teaching each other what is the use of uh, trees. There are enormous ideas that can come into your mind after viewing an image and it is a famous Japanese proverb that a picture is worth a thousand words. So the purpose of putting this uh, picture uh, here is uh, to uh, make you imagine that uh, how important pictures or visuals are in human life or in nature also. So. Similarly, computer graphics also plays a very important role these days. So if we, uh, let's imagine what uh, role uh, computer graphics uh, can play. Uh, consider some instances uh, when you are to imagine about uh, your uh, dream car or uh, dream house. What is the very first thing that comes into mind? Uh, well, I'll make this task uh, a little bit easier uh, by giving you two options. One is, uh, is that the dimensions of the car or uh, is that uh, the parameters of uh, the house? Is that imagination is parametric one? Or if I say, is that uh, imagination is the visual one? Yes, you will say it is visual one. So visual, uh, by visual I mean to say that when human beings process information, they process visual information very easily, very conveniently, right? If uh, we ask somebody uh, about uh, uh, his or her dream car, then uh, somebody can predict that, uh, uh, somebody can say that it is uh, of uh, this color, it is of red color, it is of this uh, uh, brand. So similarly, dream house, somebody may imagine that a big car or a big house or uh, somebody can say a tiny house is enough. So everybody has different perceptions, but all those perceptions would be of visual one. So I mean to say here that computer graphics is important because humans also uh, perceive, perce uh, perceive any information visually. Then next instance uh, that I would like to uh, quote here is, uh, suppose there is a, a manufacturing company official who wants to know sales of previous years. Uh, you can say 10 years of data and uh, wants to know the data of uh, uh, last 10 years. Then 
what can he say uh, would it be easier for him to process that 10 years of data uh, in just uh, you can say in just uh, two hours in just one hour no it is not easy for one to perceive that data or to draw any conclusion from that data then what can be uh, another option another option is if we provide him a graph or uh, you can say a chart of uh, last 10 years of sales then he would be easily uh, having an idea or can is even draw conclusions from that data that in which year the sales were highest and in which year um, the um, profits were not up to that mark so this is how uh, anybody can perceive similarly as humans can so this is the role that computer graphics even uh, signifies so here I would like to say that anything we imagine uh, humans uh, process is we first imagine that in visually suppose you want to uh, you want to recall the name of your friend you would have even picture or graphics of that one in your mind so uh, even the text information is stored in visual form in our brain so as uh, humans process information graphically or visually they can return retain that information very conveniently so here is the use of uh, computer graphics we can easily now uh, know that it plays a very important role and uh, it has uh, uh, enormous applications in the real world because of uh, this analogy with the human kind of perception so next this is uh, formally speaking or broadly speaking computer graphics uh, is basically the use of certain methodologies uh, like uh, software or hardware to create and manipulate pictures on a display device so it uh, basically comprises of techniques to create uh, to create to store modify and represent pictures here uh, the word software and hardware signifies that it would be uh, not possible to have uh, graphics to use graphics or to uh, frame uh, develop graphical uh, analogies if we don't have uh, software as well as hardware contribution so basically in computer graphics uh, it is the study of uh, uh, different software packages or the techniques through which we can uh, draw an object but where it is on the display devices and this is not only done with the uh, uh, with the software that is obviously display devices are a hardware then another kind of hardware devices are also used uh, all the information that has to be stored on the com uh, on the computer or on the device that has to be controlled through memory so where the picture has to be displayed or uh, all this kind of information is stored in uh, hardware devices memory and uh, again memory can't uh, uh, do any kind of processing so there must be some kind of controllers that should be attached to it so basically computer graphics uh, can be said as certain software methodologies along with contribution of hardware to create and manipulate pictures and that too on a display device where it has to be displayed it can be any display device uh, it can be the screen of a monitor it can be uh, any uh, laptop or it can be a tablet it can be even your mobile it can be your uh, uh, watch any display device so one question where can I use computer graphics uh, 
in i can say computer graphics uh, since humans can uh, uh, process information graphically so we can say any area where we feel that uh, uh, graphical information is uh, uh, more convenient it takes a lot of time to process uh, data real time data is uh, uh, very inconvenient to process and uh, in that place we can use graphical uh, information then we can also use in design applications so there are so many uses if i uh, say then these uses are uh, firstly in the field of computer aided design uh, or computer aided manufacturing cad and cam which is in short called so uh, here uh, we can make a number of uh, designs. Uh, there can be uh, layout of uh, aircrafts, there can be layouts of uh, buildings, and there can be uh, different modalities in which this uh, information can be designed. I can have different views of the uh, of a building. Uh, using uh, computer graphics then uh, there can be different uh, frameworks where the suppose aircraft has to be designed then uh, automobiles can be designed there are so many products available in market uh, that cost a lot if we make them without designing them uh, however at their designs are also manually if we create those designs then it would take a lot of time so in nutshell computer aided uh, design softwares uh, can be an application area for computer graphics after that we have uh, uh, presentation design so uh, any computer graphics uh, uh, software uh, can be used to uh, give uh, presentations. We can uh, represent data visually already discussed in the uh, sales uh, manufacturing uh, uh, scenario where uh, you can say that uh, uh, that uh, somebody can use that data which is in the form of charts bar charts uh, any kind of visuals uh, we can prepare with the help of uh, computer graphics softwares so uh, it helps in uh, uh, making data presentable or uh, it helps in uh, uh, better understandability of uh, the audience uh, if we use that in uh, uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation so uh, it is another example where presentation uh, design has to be considered then another application is advertising we can use uh, pr um, these presentation designs in advertising or marketing uh, nowadays uh, it is quite in uh, if we have to uh, uh, show some kind of uh, uh, facts and figures that can be graphically shown with the help of computer graphics. So, uh, since visual perception uh, is uh, takes uh, can be stored uh, for a long time can be retained. So, uh, this method is quite in these days, uh, and advertising companies uh, use uh, fully exploit computer graphics for that. After that, arts and uh, computer arts. Uh, so, uh, in arts, various designers can uh, use uh, different uh, design packages, uh, Corel Draw and uh, uh, another uh, uh, softwares for that. Uh, Photoshop can be used. Uh, it is to design. Um, we can one can uh, uh, design for. Uh, Again, advertising uh, can be used. It can be used for advertising. Then there can be another uh, uh, arts applications uh, like uh, uh, where uh, the user can uh, create, the designers can uh, create. And uh, suppose one has to design uh, flyers or uh, uh, different boards, then it is very conveniently designed. Then there is entertainment this is uh, the biggest industry where computer graphics is used these days uh, there are so many uh, uh, superficial uh, characters uh, 
can there can be animations uh, cartoon net uh, channels uh, are always available so computer graphics can be used there for entertainment purpose there are uh, uh, so many you know, big budget movies that are uh, uh, done uh, these days and uh, um, that are quite area uh, area of interest for various uh, audience and uh, uh, all these uh, are due to computer graphics another thing which is very important for education and uh, training we can use computer graphics in uh, uh, for educational purpose uh, or uh, uh, teaching in the virtual mode uh, these days is uh, quite in and uh, again uh, computer graphics uh, is used uh, can be used for so many purposes uh, for illustrations uh, for uh, making uh, models more clearer to the students and uh, then training uh, suppose there is uh, we can take example of different simulators suppose there is a flight simulator we can't take risk of uh, uh, making uh, somebody for the very first time sitting in the actual plane rather than we would uh, try to have a simulator kind of thing for that purpose computer graphics is the best option where uh, certain kind of uh, uh, effects would can be given in uh, through computer graphics that uh, the user can uh, have a feeling of uh, virtual reality or uh, a certain kind of uh, graphics would be shown that he uh, would feel that he he or she is sitting in that particular environment so for education and training it has uh, uh, it has proven to be a boon after that visualization it is uh, the same as uh, data can be visualized uh, text data can be visualized more easily uh, through computer graphics so here comes the bar charts uh, or uh, another uh, presentations that can be graphically done bar charts pie charts uh, are some of the examples where data can be visualized after that uh, then comes image processing uh, this area is uh, quite in uh, from 1980s when we have and it has enormous applications in the field of uh, medical uh, imagery satellite imagery so uh, in forensics uh, in different kind of uh, uh, diagnostic uh, recognition or classification areas where images a large number of images can be processed and a particular conclusion can be uh, uh, can be found out so here computer graphics has uh, a very important role to play then the next uh, area is uh, graphical user interface obviously uh, we are also interacting with either with each other through graphical uh, interfaces uh, so user can uh, prepare for any application uh, the user can interact with the graphical user uh, through with the system through graphical user interface so there can be a uh, very easy to use and uh, convenient GUIs that can be prepared and that too with the help of computer graphics so these are the some of the application areas uh, it is not limited to that we can use graphics anywhere where we can see that humans can uh, uh, process the information visually there we can use computer graphics so this is the broad classification of uh, graphics we can uh, use a certain kind of uh, general purpose uh, graphics uh, where uh, uh, small objects like a point a line a poly polygon or uh, any kind of object has to be uh, framed uh, generative graphics deals with that kind of computer graphics area then second is image analysis uh, 
it includes uh, analyzing already prepared images uh, so there are certain kind of techniques that are used and uh, to analyze the uh, gen already generated uh, computer graphic images then comes loginative this area deals with the uh, photography where uh, there are already images are there and uh, so these are the this is the broad classification of computer graphics based on the use of technology we are using how we are uh, using those images we are creating those uh, images that is under uh, if we are creating small objects then that falls under generative graphics if we are just analyzing and uh, generating uh, graphical images then that means uh, uh, we are uh, doing under image analysis and loginative is a, a separate area where photography has to be used now this is another classification of uh, computer graphics this is based on user involvement uh, there are certain areas uh, where users are not at all involved in computer graphics. That kind of graphics are non-interactive one. Suppose we see titles on uh, television channels or we can see um, animations on uh, uh, channels then in that uh, we can't we don't have the user don't have any kind of involvement uh, there is uh, no uh, click is uh, required and uh, it moves at its own so such kind of graphics are known as non-interactive one after that we have uh, interactive uh, computer graphics these are quite in these days uh, why it is important because uh, user want to con uh, contribute today's user want to contribute or interact with the system so that it gives us a, a look that uh, we are interacting directly with the graphics and uh, this involves gaming and uh, every day we have in our pockets mobile phones all those graphics where we uh, with a click of a button we can have interaction with the graphics that kind of graphics in uh, fall under interactive cg so next we have major components computer graphics uh, has three major uh, components that are involved the very first one is a tv or a display device uh, the second one is display controller and then we have frame buffer so uh, i am explaining the role of each one uh, one by one first one is a tv or display device now uh, what uh, do you think that whenever we are uh, displaying some kind of graphics then uh, what would be the uh, the device where it would be displayed it, it it can be a TV it can be a mobile or it can be any display device uh, um, right it can be a watch where we want to display that but uh, for that we have to take care of the coordinates we have to take care of the uh, information where that uh, image has to be or any object that is there in the graphics has to be displayed on the screen after that uh, display controller display controller is uh, basically uh, an interface between the memory and the display device uh, it uh, is acts as uh, interface so it just uh, transfers the information stored in the frame buffer to the display device uh, it uh, is an important component of the computer graphics because uh, the information where that information has to displayed all these signals are being are uh, performed by are been uh, uh, sent by the display controller to the device 
and the, uh, the display controller is further attached to the microcontroller from where the actual information has been gathered. After that frame buffer, frame buffer is uh, as the name uh, uh, you get uh, is the information of the image where that has to be displayed which is the image uh, that is going to be displayed. So all this information uh, is stored in frame buffer. So uh, these are the components. After that, uh, these are the sources from uh, where this information has been uh, taken. Uh, hopefully, you uh, enjoyed this lecture and uh, very thank you to all of you.